I can always find a place to perform arena pit fight where I receive free lodging and food of a modest or comfortable standard as long. Hello, hi, how you doing? I'm just saying things, saying random stuff, and I'm really excited to be saying random stuff because it makes me feel really tough. Okay, here we go. Aw, it's going to go into a rhyme spiral. That's all right. <laughs> okay. Wait, I on. got the finger pointed at me. Hi, guys. Welcome to twitch.tv slash DD, uh, Fury's Reach with our Maze Arcana crew. I'm Satine Phoenix, your dungeon master for today. We are, go we are super behind. Uh, quick introduction while you introduce, um, also open up your box. So we'll start with Misty. Hi, I'm Misty, and I play the first mate, Amina. And we're opening up our boxes from Wormwood Yay! for our dice trays. I don't even remember what I picked out, so I'm really excited. It's like Christmas. Ooh. Well, she's digging that out. Well, let, let her talk. She's got a, uh, she has a card, and it says what kind of wood it is. Meow. You should oh, wow. probably it's use it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Was it normal? It was loud. Sorry, I didn't know. <laughs> I didn't realize it was magnetic, oh, so, so cool. it was very loud. We Sorry. can hear Misty today. Oh, <laughs> Sorry. I'm just going to leave it open for you. Yeah. <laughs> We're killing Rudy off camera. And right it fits now. into here. He died. So I cannot throw them on the ground, or maybe I'll, I have better look. Oh, and I got hickory. So read it real quick for everybody. Uh, a masculine wood. Hickory is used to uh, used in tool handles and for smoking meads. I don't know why I picked this one. <laughs> a creamy sap wood <laughs> can provide a pleasing contrast to the visual interest alongside the darker heartwood. Andrew Jackson was known as Old Hickory due to his tough nature. However, this is somewhat of a misnomer. Uh, I can't say that right. Young Hickory is actually tougher and more elastic than old the, the old heartwood huh. of hickory trees. Interesting. Oh. I, I learn know. something new every day. Uh, Kyle got his on Sunday. I did. I got Brazilian rosewood. And I'm Kyle, and I am playing Captain Dorigas. Kyle's going to bring his every week from now on, though. <laughs> um, okay, I'm Kim, and I got Flamebox Elder, and I'm so excited about it because I've been looking forward to it because it's so pretty. So, oh, my goodness. Oh, oh, that's yeah. natural. I read on the website that, like, beetles do something and make it. Can you even, I can't get it close enough to show you guys, but it, like, is so cool. I'm not going to click it because I know it'll kill Rudy, and I like him alive. <laughs> um, but yeah, look at like the the, yeah. the on the sides. Oh it looks like like that's where beetles have done something. So let's see. Maybe it'll say it on here. Uh, the sub uh, flamebox elder Acer negundo. This subspecies of maple tree owes its brilliant coloration to invading beetles and fungus. Mm -hmm. Beetles bore holes throughout the tree, exposing avenues for fungal invasion, causing the tree to release powerful and colorful chemicals to protect these wounds. The red coloration becomes muted over time but never completely fades away. Ooh, very <laughs> I'm so cool. excited. <laughs> Thank you, Wormwood. Wormwoodgaming.com. Oh my god, I love you guys. <laughs> and you're playing. I'm so excited. And I'm playing, and I'm playing Kalite the Vost. I'm a storm sorcerer from, uh, from, uh, uh Halrua. <laughs> from my precious Halrua. <laughs> Kirk Desair has been a bar tag. What's wrong? Awesome. So, Kyle, what happened last week? Last week, we wandered in the woods a lot, and people almost died. Cool. There was, uh, actually, we, um, we had to deal with the fact that we found an Aarakocra that was being tortured by little gobos, and then we... It's a bird man. It's the bird man. I'm after, sure you guys know is, that. This is after we had gotten <laughs> off the bridge and almost gotten smacked by the, the stone statue and the monkeys stealing our food and all of our supplies because but someone was playing with the monkeys. The monkeys are my people now? Um, <laughs> wandered for a bit, avoided some bad people, and ended up in the abandoned temple of Ubtau. Ubtau's spooky temple that has the secrets about the gem that we're looking for. There's all kinds of weird little tracks roaming around on the ground, some old, some not so old, so we don't know who's here, who's going to cause a problem. Oh, there's snake tracks, right? Like snake there are tracks. slippery, wiggly looking tracks. Slippery, wiggly, lots of tracks. But. They're snake-esque. So, 
here we are in the Ubtau temple that you have been, you've been, this is the end of your guide's journey that they were told that they are going to lead you to this temple and that there's information for you. You walk into this temple and it's dusty. Um, there's a crack in the ceiling and this beam of light is the only light in the entire room. It's a very large temple. Uh, you can, if you can see over here, oh, the, the mini monitor is turned the wrong way. But um, it's a long room and on the sides of the room are five little nooks and there is an altar at the end and two doors on either side um, on the opposite. In the middle on the floor, you can't help but see. There's lots of vines growing too, lots of vines, a lot of plants growing in here. But what you can make out um, through the layer of dust, through all the tracks, is this deeply engraved symbol of Ubtau on the ground. And it's that big swirl. And the altar is just a simple block? There's... It's a simple block that has a statue on it. Oh. it is a warrior. Does it look a lot like the warrior on the bridge? It does look like the warrior on the bridge. It is just standing there, though. What size is this? Like big size or is this size? It's big size. Oh. That's the way it works. <laughs> <laughs> it's not exactly this, yeah. but it's big. Um, um, and so basically, there's a door here, okay. and a door here, and the altar. So the um, you do not see any gems. So the Are there the holes with gems? Side? doors go to the side mm -hmm. behind it. Yeah, sorry, I didn't have okay. time to grab the right. Um, Are there holes where gems might have been? You can go up and look at it if you'd like. What is in the alcoves? The see? alcoves are just symbols. Okay. Yeah, They're just slightly indented in. There's symbols, Utah symbols in there. Okay. There's eyeballs. There's little, uh, like, hieroglyph looking T-Rexes and there's the Ubtau okay. maze. Um, I turn to River and Flask and I say, have you been here before? We came here, but um, I, we didn't come inside of here. We were just playing outside. We were just playing outside. Um, the professor doesn't like us um, touching things, so we have to stay outside most of the time. So the professor comes in here. He came in here, but it's been a long time. Mm. Mm. I'm going to move forward cautiously towards the symbol, looking for traps. Okay. Roll investigation. I got a four. <laughs> you are fairly certain there are no traps. Good deal. Looks good to me. <laughs> I think I'll <laughs> jump in and cautiously investigate also. Might be okay. Able to what are you looking for exactly? Stuff. I'm looking for anything that stands out relating to the gems or anything that we've seen before that looks familiar. So you've seen the spiral, you've seen the, the carvings of the eyeballs. Um, would you like to move towards the, the statue in the middle? Yes, cautiously. Okay. Is this a well-lit Room or is it have Just some one circle? single big oh. fat beam. A beam hits right about here. Okay. It's all dusty and moody. It, you don't actually hear this. No, I'm going to put mood music on. <laughs> I'd, like to, I'd like to kind of just take a few steps back away from these guys and disappear into the, into the wall on the side and go towards that left this door. Door, yeah. Okay. Are you trying to be stealthy? Yes. Okay, roll stealth. <laughs> On accident, and I got, <laughs> yes, uh, 26. 26. Um, Bartek disappears. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, so what are you trying, you're just hiding, and you are going to inspect the statue? Yes. Okay, what would you like to do? Um, walking behind to make sure that she isn't getting attacked. Okay. And I'm going to walk behind him, but back to back, so I can keep my eyes out to see if anything's coming up behind us. And I'm a little scared. Is there anything else you would like to do? Mm, do you see anything on that? 
Do I see anything? A roll investigation. Yep. <clears throat> you say no. <laughs> Seven. <Nope. laughs> uh, you see, it just looks like carvings. Mm -hmm. uh, you move your hand across and the dust um, gets on your fingers and uh, kind of fills in some gaps. Like there's a really thick layer of dust here. Looks like some nicks on it, like um, parts of it have crumbled off. Mm. Is the warrior holding any weapons? Mm -mm. No. He's just standing there. Mm. What do you what, think? What should we do? I see see symbols. <laughs> just looks like an Ubtau statue to you. Yeah. Sorry, I just I see symbols. I see. Uh, I see just another statue that looks similar, but nothing stands out for me. All right. A gust of wind comes through the opening of where you came in, back here, and just kind of breathes dust into the room. <coughs> May I redirect the wind to <coughs> blow the dust? Yes, you can. <laughs> I just will sweep up the wind and and use it to dust off the statue quite successfully, I think. Remove okay. all of the, any dirt and This spilt. is natural. You used to do this and you had to clean. Yeah. Um, <laughs> after you're a noble, you probably wouldn't. But because, all right, how about this? I wouldn't do it when the door was open. Exactly. So you clear it off and that will give you advantage on your investigation. Do you mm. want to do it again? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, it does look like there may have been gems in there at one point, but uh, as you are blowing the dust off, like it's just a lot of dust is coming off of there. Captain, how many gems do you carry? Normally, quite a few. Unfortunately, right. I've been spinning them all. <laughs> how many so. gems from this statue do you carry? Oh, <laughs> I have one. The other one went off bridge. Oh, I see. Hmm. Well, maybe was it to have gems in it, it's pretty dusty. The same thing that happened with the last statue won't happen? I mean... It didn't seem to stop when we took them out. Mm, True. I was thinking perhaps if we put our gem in this, this main hole, perhaps it would cause something to open or... Perhaps. Let's check the doors first. That's a good idea. I guess it brings statue to life. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so while they're talking, I'm at the next door. Mm -hmm. Sorry. While they're talking, I'm at the next door, and I, um, I smell. Take two smells. I try to see, smell, see if I can smell anything coming from down in this opening. All right, a uh, roll perception. And then, uh, with your nose. Uh, so, um, <laughs> that's a thirteen. Uh, it smells stale. There is some. It's really dusty. It's very dark. Uh, stale. There's some. Musty? Musty, but something else. Mm. Death? Mm, maybe. Mm. Mm. Can I run my hand along the, with the openings of the door or whatever it is and feel and check, and check for a, uh, some type of a trap or something that might be dangerous? Okay. Um, are you you're inspecting it? Uh, so yeah, so um, whatever's higher because you're taking your time, investigation or sleight of hand? Oh, that would probably be sleight of hand, yeah, sleight of hand. Fifteen. Doesn't seem like there's any traps here. Okay. Uh, you do know, notice like the frame is very weak. Um, it's uh, old, like wood and like rocks and wood and stone, like the whole, the place is falling apart for sure. Okay. I am going to start making my way, still in stealth to the other side, the other door. To this door? Mm -hmm. Okay. So you come to a door and it looks, the frame looks like, uh, not like the other door. That was more wood and this is more like, uh, there's designs on it. It's, there's a bit of marble and stone, and it looks very nice, but also uh, very old 
and run down. Hmm. This fan here must be in the same. Oh, the door is closed. Oh, the door is closed. The other one's open. The side. other one's like cracked open a oh, bit. This yeah. one's closed. And I'm going to go back and report to the captain. Okay. The information that I just discovered. What's that? So I took a very close look at the two doors. Mm -hmm. The one to the are there. Looks a little unstable. And there is an interesting smell of of age and moss. Some rocks fall from where the light's very coming out. Very unstable. Dust falling and rocks. Then on the other door, to our right, very nice intricate designs over the doors. But there is a closed door when on the other side it's open. So I'm not quite sure what we should do at this point. Mm, you said the other one was heavily designed. Intricate design. Everyone roll a perception check. Eight. Plus six. Seventeen. Fifteen. You two see some rats scurrying. You go into that small door or the wooden door. The unstable one? They're, yeah. Rats. Do river and flax like rats? Because there are... There are, are so river and flax are actually by the opening. They are, they by don't the really, yes. They're not really happy to go in there or be there. That's best. Keep an eye on the mountains. Mm. Okay. They go outside. I, I think the more decorative door would probably be best. I would agree. It is much prettier. There is a vermin. Hmm? There is little vermin scurrying around to the other door. I'm not quite sure who would like to follow them. Mm. Okay. What would you guys like to do? You're going to go to the door? Hmm? Let's do it. You go to the door. door. Ooh. <laughs> it's just like I described. Yep. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Did you check it to see if it was trapped? No, I did not. Uh, perhaps I would use my mage hand to tap at the door. In case there is a trap, it will set on the mage hand, yes? Depends on the trap, I guess. Hmm. Well, we can at least try. Were you going to knock on it? I mean, to perhaps try the handle? It is a oh. hand, after all. You can try opening it. We'll step back. I would like to use my mage hand. Let us step back. You, yes. you set it off. It could not be good. All right. We Maybe will. one of us should check. I, I Someone can. make a decision. So I, from th I, I, if, as long as I'm within 30 feet, I can use the mage hand. That's fine. Uh, so I would like to step back uh, to make sure that we are back at least, I am back at least 30 feet from the door. I recommend all of you do the same. But mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> yes. I'm going to keep an eye on that hole. <coughs> All right, so you're basically back against the, the other door. wall. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. All right. Well, I uh, use my mage hand and I go to open the door. How are you opening the door? It depends on what the handle looks like. Hmm. You should probably go and look at the handle. I step forward to look at the handle <laughs> 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 to make sure I can see what the, the door looks like. Uh, it looks like the handle's been broken off. The handle has been broken off. Is there any functional pieces uh, of the inside of the handle that I could use, perhaps leverage with a stick? Um, investigation. Bartak, could you help me investigate this for a second? <laughs> yeah, you're just like, oh, there's no door handle. That sucks. There, Bartek, I do not okay. see a door handle. I cannot the configure this thing out. I'm just saying, I, it's like there's no handle. The How am yeah. I going to open it if there's no handle? What do you want me to use? Um, either sleight of hand or Nine. investigation. 19. So you are, you don't find any traps, but you do see that there's um, some handholds in the side of the door. It's a big stone door, so you can slide it across. Okay. Give me your hand. My hand? I'm using my mage hand. There? Well, your mage hand will go in here. It will go in there, okay. It looks really heavy. Okay. So you will mage hand into there? Okay. Wait for me to back out, yes. and good luck. I'm coming, I'm <laughs> backing out as well. My mage hand works from a distance. 
<laughs> okay, I'm following him. All right. <laughs> All right, so let's back up. I'm going to back up 30 feet. All right, you backed up 30 feet. What are you doing? You're backed up? Mm -hmm. You're walking towards the door? <laughs> if, she's, if she's casting spells on this thing, I'm... Your mage hand will not move this door. You do not feel what, because it is, what, you door think the door is so... Heavy for your mage hand. Well, can I at least help you? Oh, I'm sure I could. <laughs> You're a very brave man, Captain. I wish you all the best. I'll I help you. This is what you right want to do. Mm -hmm. This is probably more appropriate. <laughs> <coughs> yep. So. Okay. I'm gonna help. So the two here. of you. Yeah. Gonna do this. All right. Strength check. Strength save. Or strength roll. Strength sure. roll. And then add your modifier. Our talents do not lie in our muscles. <laughs> oh, just modifier. Mm -hmm. Uh, I got a fourteen. Yeah, she's she's thinking about something. <laughs> she's not really putting all of her effort I'm, into it. Could you please pay attention? Uh, yeah, yeah, Thank yeah, you. yeah. I don't want to pull something. Uh, I'll get the one on the shorter side since that's, okay. I'm short. Let's try this again. Okay. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> what are you thinking about, Amina? I just wish I had worn my wig because just... Like, in case we don't make it out of here, I want him to see me with red hair just once. This is, this is what she's thinking. Yeah. And I look like a mess. And what if this is the last time I see him and this might look like? And I definitely don't smell very good. <laughs> I hope I don't die here today. All right. Uh, I don't know. I just slipped my hand. I'll try it again. That's not what I'm thinking. That's what I just said. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. Again. Jesus. I got a nine. <laughs> yeah, you're just you're losing faith in your your first um, mate. Do you want to take a break and we'll have Bartek come over and give a hand? Uh, no, no. I got this. I got this. Are you sure? Yeah. No. I. Oh, that's kind of what are you guys doing? Sure just watching them? We're comparing our like strengths right now. We got nothing. <laughs> I'm like this. <laughs> Why don't you two make sure nothing sneaks up on us? I mean, mm, thank there goodness. There you go. I'm keeping an eye 20. on the unstable you door. Roll? I got a twenty. You, what did you roll? Uh, I got a fourteen. So a you're point. pulling at it, and all of a sudden Amina goes, "Oh, oh yeah, this." <laughs> the whole thing swings open. <laughs> <laughs> And then the, the rocks from the opening come down. All of a sudden, you hear birds fluttering up. <laughs> the, you see the, the tabaxi <laughs> peek their head in. Is everything okay? Uh, we're opening one of the doors. Oh. Is it's everything very okay quiet out, there? out here. Uh, it's no really. Animals? No, it's really quiet. That's not good. We're, uh, we're going to find a, a small place to put the mounts. All right. Okay. They go off. <sighs> Beyond huh? the door? Beyond the door? Come on, where are you? I'm just going to do more moody music. Beyond the door, you see a hallway that leads <clears throat> to um, just an opening, but it's really dark. There's no light. Okay. Light? Light. A ten foot cube. Awesome. Which so reaches you move 20 the feet. light through. Yes. So it's a bright a bright light for a twenty foot radius and then another yeah. dim light for another twenty feet. Okay. But there's so a ten you have this cube. room that you oh, I see. that you see okay. at the end of So you were in this hallway. You were, what are you doing? Are you going through the hallway? Uh, which way does the hallway go? Does it go both directions or just one direction? It just goes into that dark area. Okay, so it goes straight ahead. And it's yes. Parallel it to doesn't, it. yeah. Perpendicular. Yes. Okay. Uh, yeah, we'll move forward. All right. You go in with your light, and the light starts to fill the room in front of you. Mm -hmm. And you Arthur? see. Vodka? 
Okay. You see these murals on the side of the wall. Mm-hmm. And what's in murals? What are the murals on? They're not very big. They're about this big. Um, <coughs> you would have to go and look at them. Okay. They're not like full wall murals. They're mm-hmm. little big murals. Yeah. Are they like little niches? Uh, roll a perception check. Little niches? Or are they like it attached? Kind of, they're all kind of attached. Okay. I got uh, a Mur- eight. Murals meaning like paintings on the wall, like frescoes? <coughs> They're more or like, well, you'd have to walk up to it. Um, you okay. see that there's color on the walls, okay. but um, there is a layer of dust in here. I'm all, since he put me in front, I'm always, always smelling, always smelling, always Stale, looking. Stale, dirt. Can you always I, um, sure. I grab some wind and scoot off all of the dust. You see that it's well around you. It fills the room all the way across the walls. Some parts are cracked, um, but it looks like a there's art all over the wall. Hmm. Um, starting at the left side, I'm going to walk up and start examining the mural to see if it's a story progressing in one direction or not. <gasps> and if it's going backwards, I'll go to that side of the room and read it the right way. If it's not, then okay. Right. So I did something really neat. Um, did you draw things? I am going to be drawing them as we So I'm not going to tell you what it says. I'm going to draw it and then show everybody and then hand it to you. And then you say out loud your interpretation of it. Okay. Utah. Oh, is it too white? Okay. Well, yeah. All right. <laughs> yeah. So, I'll have you guys. This is gonna probably be a little quiet, but say out loud what you see. Hmm. Looks like maybe a representation of a storm that blew through at night and the zombies are after one person that sounds possible do you agree storyteller yes what do you see the zombies <clears throat> and the one person is still, they have not been touched, inflicted with the... These look dead. Mm-hmm. These look like they may be bowing, so it may have been someone who came in and conquered. It could be bowing, or are they coming after them? I believe that, too. that they are worshipping. I don't know, but I was thinking perhaps they're worshipping Uptau. I think it is they were worshipping someone, and I think Uptau is a good person, but they are worshipping them to the point of their death, oh. at which point perhaps that is where the zombies came from oh. eventually, but that they are worshipping and some of them died. They may be flying too. These may be the Arakamra. I see. They do not have beaks. Well, they don't have faces. But to draw a bird without a beak, you're not drawing a bird. They're very abstract, it seems. Yeah, I suppose. I cannot it's draw just a well. I would put a beak if I was drawing a bird. Let's see if the next one is any clue as to what this actually is. I like the desert wind. Hmm. Oh, okay. For the audience. Here, you can number it. See. Oh, okay. Yeah, uh, the audience, I'm going to have them, oh, I put so them we in can, there, yeah. This is the first one, so they can look at it. Did Vartex see it? Mm-hmm. Vartex did. Yes. Well, this definitely looks like somebody different than the other ones, worshipping the dinosaurs and giving them something. A little history check. I believe that is the dinosaurs giving them something. Mm. Little history check, everybody. 
13? Huh. I got a 19. <coughs> Don't know why I know this thing. If it's a 21. Uh, the dinosaur is on a pedestal, Captain. I mm -hmm. am afraid I... You definitely... You rolled a 21? Yeah. You're like... Guys, it's Utel. It's definitely... That is um, one of his icons, as he well, comes to people as a uh, T-Rex. So this is Utel, you think? And this is the worst thing of Utel, and he gave them some glowing magical gem? Definitely Utel. Um, I'm betting that's a glowing magical gem. It is I'm definitely a glowing magical this gem. This is probably the heart. Mm. The um, pulse of Tilt, as it were. What is this spinning whirlpool under this man here? That's who tells him. The swirls. This is a swirl? Yes. I see. At least that's my guess. Yes. Hmm? All right. So this is number mm. three. So the people are worshipping Uptown. Well, he gives them gems, they or a gem. They use the, the pulse to make water? Oh, maybe to make the rain, some or the water of, for the rain? There's some type of energy. No, I think that's water. It's, it's water? I think it's water, because it has waves. Yeah, it does appear that it has turned into perhaps the river that maybe flows they through were, the city. Maybe because the, the land was barren before. It was just mountains. Dying. And Ukal came and gave them water so they can grow the plants and bring life to Chilt. This is where the jungle came from, but why is the rain poisoned now? Good question. Hmm. Hmm. Maybe if we find the pulse, we'll figure that out. I'll let them know that. The pulse. This is three, right? Well, the mm -hmm. gem appears to be pulsing in that picture. Hmm. <laughs> Oh, look, they're all happy because they have water and plants and they aren't dying anymore. Yes. Oh, so this mm -hmm. is it. They were dying. They yes. were laying on the mm -hmm. ground, but they weren't dying from the worship. They were dying from starvation. Well, the one individual, I believe, was their high priest. They were mm -hmm. all dying, and the high priest saw that, so he prayed to Ubtau for help. Ubtau gave them yes. the gym, and the gym created the water, which let them grow plants and have water to drink, and thus they stopped dying. And that makes crazy. sense. Yeah. That is my guess. That is, I believe there are a few other options it could be. I have chosen the lightest, I've chosen the lightest pencil in the world. <laughs> <laughs> Just as a side note, I can barely see it. <laughs> hmm. What number is that? Four? Four. Mm -hmm. huh? This is the next one. What do you see here? Looks like they're all worshipping the pulse now. I think more people are using it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. But and now they're using it as a group as yeah. opposed to one individual. In, in, an, in a bad way, not for a good thing, but maybe for in the wrong. Hard to say. Let's see if the next I think one for now the they do not think there is a risk, but it is starting to become but a But greed. Issue. Yeah. Greed always takes over. When something is good, like Uptao brought life back to the people, and then people saw a way to use it for the wrong. Yes. Or they just got greedy. And greed. Greed took over. Hmm. Do you agree? I agree. Well, do these murals look um, like, do they have any color in them? Yes. The color, I wrote it right there. Uh, the color is in, um, in the thing that they're around that you notice that they're doing stuff to. That is this aqua blue, green bluish 
uh, color. Uh, they, as the uh, story progresses, uh, the color starts coming into the mural. So as they use the gem more and more, it seems to bring color into the, the murals. And so I they think land. They, the more people used it to bring even more water, which grew even more plants. That looks like an them, orchard. Yeah. Yes, which made them even Cross. happier. Yes. Hence there is the forest. Prosperity. Yes. So what do you think, guys? What is the story telling you all together now? Well, we do not know what happens at the end. Right now, I think we think that the story is telling us to use the gem to bring water and life to their lands. It became very prosperous. Mm. But something happened to make it all poisonous. Mm. Mm. Six, six, there are a bunch of... I wonder if they used that gym that brought life to the land to do things it wasn't meant to bring life to. Oh, this Ooh. makes sense. Yeah, it does. <coughs> That's usually what happens. Yes. Some someone dies, someone important, but they use the gym to try to bring them Almost back. definitely a man. Just to this one. <laughs> wow. Oh, they used their powers oh. to make a storm. To, to scare off a boat that yes. was coming in. Maybe invaders? Hold yes. Mm -hmm. So hold off invaders. It's only one ship, too. Well, I wonder it if could it was have a been a very, very big ship. Could be one. Everyone roll perception check. Could be more. <laughs> I'll sit out on this one. Huh. Hey, Ditto. Yeah. Six. Natural 20. 23. Which I need. The so two of you hear. Literally go to like, one. Sounds like a rustling. But you don't really know where it's coming from. Did you hear that rustling? I didn't hear nothing. I I speak to him in our in the cans, mm -hmm. not as to not bring attention to them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I, I heard it. So the story seems to end. It stops there. It's mm. the last one. Mm -hmm. What do you think they're holding? Is that is that energy? Is that clouds? Is it power? Okay. Do you see that? They specifically have something over their head. I think that's wind. That's I do not push the wind. Do you wave. think that's wind? You heard the storm. I mean, that is the, the function that is making that happen is wind, obviously, but I, I mean, it's coming from the Tower of the Gym. But I, I do not think this is the end of the story. I think there is another mural somewhere else in this building. I think it might be on the other side. I believe we must find the other uh, half of the building. Maybe. Because this is not the end of the story. I don't think so. No, because they would be celebrating if it was the end. But I've heard something that makes me Just then we should so have a look for it. Just so that you're prepared. No, thank you. I will. Uh, Does this room stop here? Does it keep going? Is this the end of the of the hallway? Do At quick glance, it looks like the end. The end. Hmm. Let's see if there's any secret exits. Yes, this is a good idea. I shine my light around all of the walls to ensure that the <laughs> maximum brightness is on the walls. And we can see. Why? <laughs> I'm going to start looking for secret ones. I'll roll a history check. Okay. No. <laughs> I got three. Amina, mean, uh, roll a history check. <laughs> and don't use that dice. That's <laughs> 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 uh, Well, that's it. Fine. <laughs> I roll history checks. Someone remembers something. Are you serious? I got an 11. Oh, beautiful. <laughs> Not bad. You don't mean much. What did you get? I got three. You got an 18. Mm -hmm. um, I, these are not skills that I'm good at. Oh, you got oh that's true. Yeah, yeah. However, Kalithe, um, <laughs> you're like, we have something. We have something for this. We have something to get it. I feel, you guys, what are we carrying that is that is, they could help us find an exit. That That's what I was going to tell her is when I started looking for the secret doors. Pardon? I pull out the lantern. <laughs> okay. I told you I was looking for secret doors. <laughs> <laughs> but okay, so you lift up your lantern. <laughs> and you see this green glow around, um, now that these are over, around <coughs> this area here. You can't see it. On the other side. Okay. You're inside. Mm -hmm. 
It is way over here. Um, I can't lift this. Everything's no, that, fragile in here. <laughs> so you see a glowing situation. Outline. Mm-hmm. I yeah. believe that that might be a secret door. How best does you all see it? Nice the whole door. thing is just outlined. Uh, that's tricky. We'll have to go investigate. Uh, if only I were a wizard and not a sorcerer, <laughs> perhaps I would know this chap. This, walk, this spell. Walk over to look at the area. Um, looking for any sort of a, a latch or symbol. If there's a Lutal symbol, something looks like it might twist tokens. Like, go ahead and investigate. Do all those fun things to take a quick look. I want to investigate as well. When they investigate, I'm going to... God, an 11. Uh, you can't seem to figure out... Just can't seem to figure out how to get in there. What would you like to do? I'm going to go back and... Make sure we are being tracked behind us. That okay. sound bothers me. So you're gonna go back here and Not look. Too far back, but just enough okay. to see. Perception. I have a strange feeling, so I momentarily, Captain, may I turn out my lamp and my light to see if perhaps something will illuminate in the darkness. I do not know. The door is glowing. You are holding a special lantern. I, I feel my light may be blocking something that may be visible. Well, you can make it again if you wish. So. Absolutely. So I turn out my light and walk to see the door, or the secret door more clearly. Uh, roll investigation at disadvantage. Because it's dark. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to have your lantern. So roll it twice and pick the lowest number. Uh, in this dig. Yeah. Oh, so a 10. Oh, no. And a 6. <laughs> you, you, you see it very clearly. There's <laughs> definitely a line for yes. a secret door. I had 19 perception when I went back. You went back? And I lay down to the ground. Then slowly and I put my ear to the ground. And I listen. You, you hear the ground, it's not footsteps. It's not coming near you, but there's movement. You can't tell where it's coming from. It's not very loud and it's not close, but there's definitely something alive somewhere. It's not, it's not steps. Nope. It's like vibration. Being dragged. Ooh. Sliding. Something dragging or constantly dragging. Mm-hmm. Um, that's our looking around near the door. Uh, is it near any of the murals? Or is it off the um, It is kind of in, like, uh, so the murals come around. Mm-hmm. It is around. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm going to go to that mural, and I'm going to push the gym in the middle. The one with the three men around the gym. The three uh, figures around see if that goes in. So you push it? Yeah. And you see the door kind of go A little dust goes hmm. I think I found it. I'm assuming you turn the light back on. Because <laughs> he was inspecting it. So. <laughs> of course I did, Captain. I got no, your back. Obviously. I have your okay. You did say you could turn it back on. Yeah. Um, okay. I think that may have unlocked it. Excellent. It appears as so. Uh, whistle for Vartak. And he whistles, I'm standing right next to him. Oh! Yeah. And I say... You are being sneaky. We should be cautious. Hmm? There is something not human close by. Uh-huh. Moving around, so we should be very cautious as we move forward. Okay. That makes sense. I believe the door is open. Is it fully open or is it just kind of like... We just... It's open now. Oh, it opened up completely? Yeah. And your light spills into a hallway. Mm -hmm. And on the ground in front of you, there's darkness beyond. There is a hat. There is like an Indiana Jones style hat on the floor. Is it dusty or...? A little bit. But it's definitely like more recent than everything else we're seeing inside. Are there any footprints in this dust around it? 
you notice that there's the same weird, like, just tracks everywhere. Okay. These tracks are freaking me out, you guys. Yeah, I don't <laughs> like them. Um, what else is in the room besides the hat? Is it just, or does the light just fall off in the darkness? Um, it is a hallway. A hallway, okay. Well, should I'll I move in forward? and I'll pick up the hat. Okay, you now have a hat. <laughs> does it look like it's about the same size as the head of, um, what was his name? Kumpalat? You look at the hat and you, it looks like a, it's a man's hat, but it mm -hmm. looks small. Oh, it does. Uh-huh. Hmm. Almost could fit Amina. Hmm. Is this for me? For, for now. In case we find Amina, the owner. Amina, you now have hat. a hat. <laughs> Thank you. In case we find the owner, we may have to give it back. But you gave it to me. Mm, to keep for now. Well, you touched it. <laughs> So you continue down the hall? Yeah. You continue down the hall, and uh, it's a very long corridor, but you see more murals. More murals. I like these other murals. You, that's interesting. I will use my gust of wind to just blow the dust off them again. Very easy to see as you walk by now that the dust is moved. Mm. Everyone roll a perce perception man. check. Natural 20, so 23? 11. 15? 25. You kind of hear things, something sounds really, is that movement or is that something? Hmm. It looks like somebody came and. That looks like someone's attacking someone with magic. Mm hmm. But it looks like part of the same group. Yes. Like maybe someone betrayed tried. them. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Or maybe the, the high priest was maybe. Mm, or maybe they yeah. all betrayed him, and he's trying to balance it order. Mm. He doesn't appear to look any different from them, though. Is that yeah. Ubtau? No, I think Ubtau was the dinosaur only. Mm. I'm going to mm. carefully stow away the lantern of secrets. Um, you did not know anything about this before. Did not. Should we push forward? Well, I'd like to look at the next picture if there is mm -hmm. another here. But we keep hearing things closer and closer, it sounds. Oh, I'm sure there's something that's coming for us. <laughs> I am sure we're trespassing on someplace very holy to someone. <laughs> There is danger very near. I'm sorry you guys can't see this on the monitor. What do you well, see? Tell the audience what you see. Oh. It's more interesting. To me, uh. that looks like he's using that gem to draw the life out of the others, to bring it into himself, possibly to make mm -hmm. it more powerful, or to live yes. much longer. Yes, a I very agree. big, very bad person. And that's how they became the zombies. Perhaps. Oh, oh, this is a good point. So they're not zombies, like, yes, they're just had their life sucked out I, of them. I do like the wavy lines to show he's moving his arms a lot. <laughs> they're, they're very nice. I, I like that. Perhaps he's growing. Mm. <laughs> That's so Wait, yay, I'm killing life. <laughs> I'm killing people. Look at me. Look at me, life. Well. I wonder if that gym is floating in front of him or if it's embedded in his chest. Mm. Good point. It would be bad if we have to get that gem from something that's evil and magic. It does appear that, that it is be. embedded in his chest. It does. To be perfectly honest. It does? Yes. Yes. It could also be damaged. It looks I like there is a chip out of the corner on yes, it. Yes, yeah. that's what I was thinking. Yes. Oh no. Uh, these are drawn slightly different. Um, um, they, are, they seem newer, they seem, <laughs> I mean, they're Sharpie right now, but um, <laughs> they seem newer, there's color in them, the technique is a slightly mo more modern. Okay. So they I mean, it's not modern, modern, but in, you know. Yeah, it's uh, of an earlier age, of a later age than yes, the earlier exactly. ones. Yes, exactly. So this happened over many, many years. Mm-hmm. 
many years after the first when this story happened. Mm. I uh, still think that he's taking the life out of them, and that's causing the evil rains. Mm-hmm. Bartek, mm-hmm. you hear the door slide close behind you. Does it feel like this wisps? Hmm? Do a quick look around to see if someone came in the room and shut the door, if it shut just because of time. So you're in a hallway? Okay. And you look back, and there's nobody there. Oh, that's not good. So no one we can see there. Just be careful. Is it less than a 10-pound door? Can I use my mage hand? Do you know what the secret button is? I will if you tell me, Captain. <laughs> I don't know what it is on this side. I haven't looked yet. <laughs> so what are you guys doing? Continue. You are now in a hallway. Down the hallway. You continue yeah. down, it opens up into a room. And in the room... I was just thinking, the, remember when we were at that mural? Mm-hmm. <laughs> I feel the swirls um, were protecting them from the rain as it stole their energy, perhaps. I think it was just showing that it was blowing. Blowing and the, creating mm-hmm. the creating rain. Creating the rain. Okay, yes. Hmm. I have a feeling we're gonna find out soon. Oh, where's yes. the other? This entire situation is disconcerting. Pull out my magic rapier. It's an unfortunate name. Yeah, I'm going to put my hand on my weapon. Just to be ready. Okay. Oh, look, dice instead of other minis. <laughs> All right. They're mini dice. Mini dice. Hmm. So these are block people. Oh, oh God, they block oh, people. Yeah. <laughs> see the thing. Okay, Dude, so terrible news. what you see is hide my hide that. You guys see that? I uh, can't see it very well because the wall. But yeah. So they're dice of people. Those are pillars. Um, the room is very dark. Your light only Illuminates the reach big. that far. How tall are the pillars? Do they see? They're to the ceiling. Uh, so, so it's a row of four pillars in parallel. So there, there's four pillars, and they are parallel. And in the middle of which is um, it's about this big is in a, an altar, and it's about ten feet high. Nothing on it. Not, well, you're lower. Oh, that's true. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but there's nothing poking up. Okay. Does anyone have a rope handy? Yeah. Handy, yes. When you go close uh, behind us, I thought I, I could and see use a rope standing. as my light source so that we can get the light further. It's only going to be on one spot on it. It doesn't like the whole, the whole thing doesn't glow. Fine. Felipe, roll a, <laughs> wis- uh, roll a wisdom saving throw. Eleven. You hear somebody calling your name. Felipe. Felipe. And it sounds like it's coming from further down the room. You guys do not hear this. Mm-hmm. Did you guys hear my... Did, did you hear someone say my name? Felipe, over here. No. I'm not hearing anything. Bartek? Did you say my name? It sounds nice. You recognize it. It sounds like somebody you knew. You don't remember who it is exactly, but you're like, I haven't, I haven't seen them in a really long time. It doesn't seem that confusing to you as this, as your name is being said over and over. You got, I'm, I'm, I'm going to see. Felipe, going, come over here. I'm going to just go, I'm just going to go and see if my friend is here. Mm-hmm. Uh, All right, we'll, we'll go with you. Just stay in the rest and we'll, we'll go along. Your friend? I, huh? 
Yeah. Just, I'll be no, just stay here. We'll, we'll come with you. Okay. 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 Cleve. Yes. Um, we should meet her. The pillars have anything carved on them, or are they just they, bl- blank stone? Or um, there is more oob tau. Okay. Yeah. These are bigger. There, there's lots of vines growing in here, but this room doesn't have much dust in it. Yeah. The minute she starts talking about a friend and crazy, mm-hmm. I'm going to disappear. Um, so Where are you going? I don't feel something is wrong in here. As Kalife walks. As she um, starts t- walking up, I'll throw a quick cant symbol to a Vartek ambush. Where is there? So Vartek, how would you like to proceed here? My apologies, I can't really see, but I yeah. would like to... Rudy, can we um, move that? I'm sorry. I don't know how. I don't know how to this. He can just stand up for a second. Uh, yeah, but you're going to need you're gonna need to see this. Because I of things. Because be reasons. We're going reasons. to be here for a minute. Um, you got it? Oh, wow. Yay. We have a big monitor that Rudy's moving. Rudy, but <laughs> We can see all the things. There we go. There what? Nice. I don't awesome. use minis very often, there but I really nice. like you to see what's going on. Oh, the <laughs> green cool. on the map looks amazing. We, we have this on Sundays. That's why it's, it makes it easier. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay. That's awesome. So you guys can see what's happening now. Oh. It makes Thank it a you. little less awkward. To, something big is going to happen. Who's each, which one is each of us? So, Kalife, yeah. Vartek, Amina, Captain. Um, which, which door did we come in? We Where came we in from us? here. And is that thing in the other side open? Uh, that looks like an opening. I'm going to uh, go to the opening in stealth along the wall. So you're just skulking along the wall to the yeah. opening. Felipe, you're moving forward. I'm moving forward. Yes. Captain? Toward the woods. We're moving up. So you're grouped up? Yeah. Um, as, we, as we move up into the shadows, I'm going to disappear, stealth into the shadow. Okay. Go ahead and stealth. Kalife, that sound, uh, your friend is, is down this hall. 25. Uh, you, nobody knows where you are. Where are you? To the left? I, yeah, or? just through here. Tell me where you are, I will come to you. I'm just down here. Yes. I'm just down these stairs. Down these stairs? Okay, I'll be right there. Uh, so you start walking. I She's start just walking. walking. Uh, she turns the corner. Yes. Amina, stop it. And everyone roll initiative. Boom. <laughs> Suddenly you're, you're, you're grabbed, Kalife. Roll a, str- a strength saving throw. Fifteen. These hands grab at you. Um, they're small and they're trying to grab at you. Um, what are you doing? I uh, turn around and uh, uh, zap, uh, zap it's them. It's very dark here. She just has her light. You have your light on you? It's a floating thing. Oh, it's floating. Um, there are little little frog people, and they're grabbing at you, and your skirt is is flowing about. You're kind of disoriented, and they are mm. very small, and they're trying to grab at you, but they can't seem to grab at you. I want to run up Felipe, Dash. grab her from behind by both arms. Come back here. And so you grab at her? I'm, so, I'm going to hit them with a thunderclap. OK, go for it. Uh, so it's uh, just 1d6, but I think I might move it up. Is How there many a DC? Are there? Uh, pardon? Is it a saving throw or uh, is it an attack? Uh, no. What does the spell it say? It doesn't look like a saving throw. Then it's an attack? Okay. It should say it on there. No, yeah. it doesn't say it. I can't there. see it very well. Oh. No. I'll just so talk, uh, do you roll a d20 and add the number? 50, oh, 21 plus. Um, I know the print is really small. No, it's okay. Uh, it's okay. 
um, bursts, my, my d6, but I'm going to roll two. I'm going to roll two d6s. I'll Each make creature other than you within five feet must make a con save. Con save. So it should say uh, save. Like remember yeah. that this, the lineup where it says where save. It says right here under save con. All right. So it says here they have to make a save and there's a con. Yeah. Con, con save yeah. DC 14. Yeah. Yeah. And con. she's doing uh, 2d6. And how far does it go? Five feet. Uh, five feet. All right. right. You can hear it by a hundred feet though. Yeah, it makes a lot of noise. But okay. So I'm going to roll 2d6s. I'll sound? make it a first no, level spell. Just the five foot radius. All right. Yeah. So 2d6. Uh. <laughs> Minimum damage. What did you do? Two, two ones. ones. <laughs> um, now remember, you also get your storm sorcery. You can add three points to anybody within five feet of you. I will do this. What would you like to do? Tell me. I so will. these little frog people are grabbing at you. <laughs> I freak out and I don't know what to. I don't know what to do and I try to Boom. zap them with my thunderclap, but it doesn't feel strong enough. So I, I use my storm sorcery and I um I uh I I attack I attack back. Uh, what is um, what is the effect of Thunderclap? I've never Thunderclap played this is uh, they make a DC 14 save con save. Are they not prone nope, or is they it just, take just damage. an attack? Okay, they and they all go so they and they all come back at you. Five points of damage to each of them. Um, you went to grab her mm -hmm. um, from the, from out the shadows beyond. An arrow goes flying past your head. Oh my gosh. Uh, nah. And from behind you, you hear, and I didn't hear that. everyone roll a perception check. What about our initiative? Yeah, I'm going to get there. 16? <laughs> 16? Oh, I'm sorry, what did I say? Perception check. Oh, yeah. Okay, perception check. What'd you get? 22. 20. Well, you guys definitely, like, you turn your head when you say? hear this noise. Oh, yeah. You're the first person to look. <laughs> And you see these like disfigured looking humanoid snake creatures. And Is the snake are people that the tabaxi warned us of? No, you know, tabaxi aren't here. No, we can't ask them. But I was pondering out loud. Oh, okay. Where'd my music go? It got absorbed by the silence of the snakes. <laughs> <laughs> so these guys are coming out there. I don't have the right minis for this, no. but uh, I'm going to use these halflings for the for the grung over here. Grung, 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 grung. Okay. So, um, uh, where? So you guys are sitting here around the corner. She gets pulled in. Amina goes to grab her. Don't pre you can fly for your bonus action. Can you action. see that? Oh, yeah. Can't tell if you can see what's going on there. Uh, I can see yeah. stuff that Even after I use okay. my storm sorcery? You have to. All right. It. So, oh. uh, initiative. What's your initiative? Oh, we rolled that before. Yeah. 18. Oh. Oh, uh, oh yeah. Uh, 10? 10? I didn't roll initiative before. Bartek? 24. And nine. Yeah, plus your initiative bonus. Twelve. Thank you. I'm so frozen. Oh boy. Okay, I'll just go around that way. All right. So Vartak, you are pretty much always first to go. So why don't you go ahead and go? Um, all these things that are coming in, are they just a big group coming in? Are there? How many are there? Can we see them all? Uh, you see, there are five of them. Are they all grouped together? Yeah, they're kind of along a wall behind okay, you. Okay, I'm going to, I'm going to, having done this, I'm going to cast what's called Thunder Wave. Mm -hmm. you see where they are. And they have a, to do a, a con save. And um, it's going to be, I'm going to do a second level. So it's a 3d8 thunder damage. And if they fail their save, they get pushed back 10 feet. Okay, what okay. was the save? It's con. It's a 15 foot cube around you. And you have to move towards them. So you have to get within 15 feet of them to have them affected. Also, oh, how far are they? They're, They're all over there. on this side. Oh, shoot. So I said, you see where they are? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but you can move towards them. You, you move pretty fast. It's your move, yeah. so. You have a long range to move, yeah. too, yeah? Um, 
5, 10, 15, uh, 20. That's um, better for us, far? too, because I don't want to get okay. fired. Let me, let me make I agree. Move. <laughs> let me make... Um, Go do it over there. Let me move next to them. All right. And I'm going to cast it on on the, the spot right here. So is it just uh, creatures the, adjacent to you? Those three right there. It's a 15-foot cube. Oh, 15-foot cube. It's Which is why he would run in the middle. Perfect. Yeah. Uh, you can run right there if you'd like. Yes. Okay. And, um... Oh, here. It's a okay. uh, con save. It's a con save? Mm-hmm. Uh, DC for half. Yeah, I roll terribly, so... Just let you know, it's half damage. <laughs> What's the damage? God, I'm just not... 18. Second level, so it's 3d8. Uh, 18. 18. Did they fail, did they fail the, the con? Yeah. If they fail, they're pushed 10 feet away from me. Yeah. Awesome. Are they knock prone? Uh, it just says push. It doesn't say anything about being knock prone. Okay. That would be a DM call. Awesome. Uh, they lumber back, but they kind of slither their way up. They, they're very strange looking, especially back here where it's dim. You're having a hard time seeing their features since the light is over here. So the 18 damage, they get pushed, and I'm going to move back towards my... Uh, you have like one more movement. Yeah. So you can go right there. <laughs> okay. Stealth. Kyle. Uh, there's Grung near us. Yes, there's three Grung here. Okay. Um, I'm going to step up and take out the nearest Grung to me. So the one at the beginning of the hallway there. Right here? Yep. Okay, what are you going to do? Uh, step up to it and attack with my rapier. Awesome. What does that look like? Yeah, like, it looks dun, like dun, dun, dun. me slipping through the shadows and popping out right next to him and hitting him with a 25. That hits. Uh, for for 19 points of damage. OK. <laughs> so. You get close, and the grung's like, Ooh. and the skin is so slimy that it's actually really easy to cut through, kind of like okay. butter. And you just slice it up, and this one falls over. And, his and bonus action, yes. I will slip back into the shadow. Slip back in the shadow. Um, so this one's down. I guess I'll move this over like this. Uh, that one's dead. So there's um, now a puddle of grung up beneath you. Okay. All right. There's the three left, right? Uh, yes. Keeper? So. There's two left. Um, Kalife. Are these frog people still attacking me? Yeah, they're trying to grab you. All right. So I'm just going to uh, smack the three of them with the magic missile. Um, okay. Yeah. Go ahead and roll. So it's. Uh, so there were three total, or there's three left? One, two, three. There's two left. Uh, all right, so D4, basically. So at two, at two, at three, and at five. Okay. So it's up D4 plus one. Oh, wait, did I just do? You did five. I did so four. Two, two, three, and one. Three four. And four. Three. Two, two, three, and a five. Um, so do you want them all on the same? Or do you want them um, on different ones? What would you like? How would you like to disperse them? You know, uh, I would like to put the two twos on one of them, and then the three and the four, and I'll have to take it off a spell level so I actually get four darts. OK. <laughs> um, your magic missiles are so close, it's just like. <laughs> In a language you do not understand. Mm. It is your turn. Oh, and at the same time, I'm gonna jump. I'm just gonna jump back ten feet. I gotta fly back ten feet as my bonus action. Okay. Does it not get? Um, is it? A, do they get disadvantage or, or op opportunity attacks? I don't think. Does so. it avoid it? Because it's no, like a, it's a spell bonus act, because it's a no. post spell bonus action. I'm gonna double check, but I think she okay. is not. She doesn't get opportunity. Okay. Well, while you're checking, Amina, I'm gonna take out my rapier and I am gonna 
well, where she was in between, I'm going to jump in front of where she was mm -hmm. and try to slice through both of their hands and cut off both of their hands. Mm. Nice. So you're just whoosh. Yeah. After seeing that, it just went through so quick. If they're going to grab her, I can at least chop their hands off. Awesome. Roll for it. Without provoking opportunity attacks. It's so that's okay, good. So she can move 10 feet without getting attacked. Nice. We need to make those Did spells bigger. Yeah, that's <laughs> so Texas add your attack. Wait, do I roll the. So you roll the d20 and then you add your attack bonus. I know, it's been a while. She got a nine. She got a nine? <laughs> On the first one. Oh, okay. You have two attacks. Okay. You want to use the other die? I feel like maybe you should use the other die. So this one was cursing me for so long. Oh, there wow. you go, 18. Woo. Okay. Yeah. So that totally hits. Now what's your damage? Woo. Uh, D. This one? I would get this confused. Uh, D8. This no. one? No, this one. Yeah. Okay. Two and then roll. Just, just that. Add that. I just add that. Okay. Oh. And it should be plus four. Oh. I'll worry that later. So two, ten, twelve, thirty-six. Louder! I can't no, hear you. <laughs> six. Six? Oh, just six. What oh. is it? Two plus four. Oh, I was taking the eight. Yeah. So uh, what's the damage? Six. Okay, six damage. So you go to whack at it, and you cut it, but it doesn't really seem to do much. Um, they are going to grab at you now. And you hear a laughter from the end of the corridor. So they go to grab at you. <laughs> so one of them grabs you and roll a constitution saving throw. Is she, is she one? Okay. Uh, uh. Constitution saving throw? Uh, 15. You feel the slime on your hand, and it's just like, oh, and it just, it goes like this and goes, ha, 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 ha. And it just kind of is like laughing at you. Ugh. And it's waiting. <laughs> um, you however, punch him in the face next time. <laughs> um, an arrow goes and just lands in your shoulder. Four. She must have rolled really well. Sometimes, sometimes she does. I roll well. I should be using this thing, but maybe I shouldn't. I don't know. That thing shot one out the other day. I know. <laughs> um, that is nine damage. So you get shot here. Um, these guys are all looking at you, Vartek, and they... How far are they from They are about 15 feet away, 10 feet away. So they're... That's what you get for not hiding after you attack. Well, I thought it was far enough away. Because I didn't have to get right on them to cast that spell. So they, they stink Good. really, really bad. They just smell and they're like, Wah. and they have these like snakes. Some have snake mouths. Some look a little mutated. It just, oh it's God. all wrong. The whole thing is wrong. It's not good. Um, and they, so each one just is like, they're scratching at you and they're biting at you. One, two, three, four. The first guy. Okay. Well, didn't that? Okay. All right. So. I thought they were far enough. Twenty-five that. to hit, and that is ten damage huh? from the first one. Oh, that was me. Oh, disadvantage. disadvantage. <laughs> Unfortunately, the disadvantage is a 17. So uh, that's 17, 18, 20, 22. So that's seven damage. And that's a natural 20. Thirteen damage. So that was. So they were still in range to be able to attack on that. They moved. They moved. They forward. get movement. And okay. these guys seem very good at what they do. They seem to be. Uh, that is seven damage on that one. 
<laughs> See you later. Uh, 15, does 15 hit you? I'm 15, so tight. That's four damage, and I think this is the last one. Well, I'm 15. Your AC is 15, so, so you six, get hit. So some eight damage. So eight? they swarm up on you, and six. they're just clawing and biting and tearing. Okay, 10, 20, 30, 8. Um, I'm going to try to Wait, whoa. 20, 30, 80. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm on the ground. You knocked out? Yep. Okay, so that's their move. Um, you guys hear a, a, a very arrogant like laugh coming from this area back here. In the darkness, you just you see a bit of a, like an outline of something a little bit just from your light from that distance, mm -hmm. but you, it looks like it's just sitting up against the wall. You can't see what it is. Can't see what it is. Um, and now at top of the round, Kyle. I still have a question though. Yes. If I, if I can cast that spell from fifteen. And it pushed them back 10. How did they get on me? They moved you could 30. only move one five feet away. Because you went 25 uh -huh. feet, did your thing, and then you only had five feet. But away. I didn't have no, to go all the way up on them, though, because I could cast it from 15. Yeah, they but when I, 10, I told 25. you, I was like, you're like, I want to go right up on them. I well, thought within Brotech range. I could move further than 30. Either way, they would have been spells. able to get you. Yeah, even at 25 feet, they can still move 30. So, Kyle. Okay. Um, so, mm -hmm. there's. Two of the grung left over here, and Vartek just dropped. Mm -hmm. um, do the creatures seem to be continuing to go after Vartek now that he's not a threat? Everything's in slow mo stop motion right now. <laughs> yes, the answer is yes. Okay, it's all the same. They're still attacking. Yeah. Um, then I'm going to run over behind the nearest two. This over here? Are you? Because you're still. Uh, yeah, I'm still stealthing. Okay. All right. So I'm going to run up behind those two, and I'm going to attack the first one. Okay. For a 16 to hit. Totally hits. Okay. And what's the damage? Uh, 21. All right. Okay, so next one. Is that one still standing? Yep. Then. When you cut into it, you just get this foul odor. It just emanates and wafts in your face. Okay. It's nasty. Uh, and then um, I'm going to stealth again. Okay. You're not going to hit this? Mm, I do a multi attack? No. Okay. So you go stealth? Are you moving? Uh, natural 20, yeah. Well, I can move without any yeah. uh, provoke, but yeah. Where would you like to move? Um, we move back towards the, the other group. Right here? Yeah. Okay. Uh, so I got a nap 20, so I'm at 26 on my stealth. All right, cool. He goes, that guy goes forward, and they're still grabbing at him. Uh, Vartak. Is it in my turn? Roll over 10? A five. Fuck. Um, okay. So, Kalife. Uh, wh where, uh, how many of them are left? On right in front of you. There's two that are facing Amina, and there are five over here so around Vartek. There's five over there? Yeah, you can see them. They're, uh, they're right around. This, like, altar thing has dropped a little. You see, like, it's, like, in this really slow motion movement down, and now it's, like, five feet down. And it's silent. Uh, okay. Uh, it's gonna hit them with a witch ball. What are you doing? Uh, okay, your friend I will is, use is a down. Gust. He's dead. He's dying. I'm gonna use a gust of wind and push all of them back 15 feet. It's a second level spell. Okay. Uh, and push them 15 feet back off of Vartek. Um, how far are they from me? 
Uh, 5, 10, 15, 20, about 20 to 30 feet. 20 to 30 feet? So I'm going to move 20 feet to Vartec. So okay. these guys are pushed back 15 feet. All the bad guys are 15 feet pushed back. All right. Is, do I I'm, have to roll a saving throw for something? Uh, is, are you I attacking? think they just get put. I don't think you can use a saving throw it's to a, on against a gust of wind. I think it just pushes you back. No. Um, so I can push it, push them all back 15 feet, and then I can. I want to grab Bartak and just pull him back the 10 feet. Okay, so you me. move 20. Each creature. Uh, so I move 20 has to, take a to get save to Bartak. Or be Thank you. Um, yeah, double check because I need you to tell me if it's a save. Yeah, I don't see and a so save. Is there a save in here? He says yeah. it's a strength, strength save. Strength, strength save. save. How do I find this? Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. No. So it is a strength save. Uh, my saving throw DC is 14. Thank you. Uh, so, two of them, these two, they get knocked against the wall. They go prone? It just says they're pushed back 15 feet. Okay, so they hit the wall, um, but these two, these three are still on top of them. They made their save. Okay. Duration is up to a minute as long as you keep concentrating on it. Okay, so you're just like, you're like holding this wind. Like a wind against them, and they have mm -hmm. to use their strength to fight against the wind. Yeah. So you're gonna go and to grab Vartak. So I'm gonna grab Vartak, and I'm gonna pull him back as far as I can, which is ten feet, I believe. So you move twenty. You can move forward one to uh, get to him now. Um, you can move back one. Uh, roll, roll a d20 and add your strength modifier. Uh, So you're holding on to him. He's on the ground. Okay, Amina. So I have the two little dudes still in front of me, right? Mm-hmm. Well, <laughs> that one touched me and it really grossed me out and made me mad. I want to try to slash just that one with my rapier again, but like down through the face, hoping to go through the torso. Okay, do that. Rule of 20. Here we go. Okay. Battle music. 18. 18. And then I will. Uh, Damage. D8. This one, right? No, no this one. I'm from Kentucky. I'm sorry. I'm terrible with numbers. So she got 12 points of damage on an 18 to hit. Okay. So, um, the one that you attack, it just like butter just slices through him. And he kind of folds in half. And his friend. That's standing next to you. She's got a second You're attack. Next. <laughs> and I like to use my um, my so my rally cry. Mm -hmm. So it heals. Will it be able to bring him out of unconsciousness? Uh, you have to He's be. He's gotta be closer. It yeah. Says, um, What's the distance? I can heal three allies up to sixty feet. Oh, 60 oh feet. yeah, go oh, for it. Sixty is um, amazing. What is your rally cry? I mean, Loud I couldn't hear you. Hear. I don't want anyone to hear us in this dungeon place. <laughs> I think they know we're here. Oh, yeah. I'm meow, 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 meow. Wake up, Vartek. Okay, so you meow, 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 and anybody that took damage. So you two, did you take damage? Not yet. No, did you take him. damage? Just him. Um, yeah, it, uh, it doesn't seem to be waking Vartek. Um, and you still have your second attack. I want to try to do the same move to the other. All right, as roll he's it. Terrified. And roll the damage at the same time. Damage. So that and the. So this is fine, maybe? Uh, okay, no that's good. Then. 19 to hit. That's perfect. Roll damage. Then. Ah. 12 points. Awesome. So <laughs> that little guy's like, oh no! In Grung. <laughs> 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 And you, and you've just got these slimy grung pieces all at your feet, <laughs> and you turn around, and Vartak is lying on the ground. There's two like snake creatures that have hit the wall, and there are um, like three of these monster creatures that are just like, pulling. yeah, pulling him. We're gonna go. I'm take I'm on top of Vartak, protecting him right now. Yes, we're gonna take a break. Um, I want you guys to look at your um, character sheets and 
figure out the things that you want to do. We have five minutes. Um, also, I have to go to the bathroom. But um, yeah, just look at what you want to do and make sure you know where to oh, look at what the uh, things that you want to do are going to do. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're going to go on a break. Cool. Thanks, you guys. Might new?
about to be dead. I don't care. Oh. I don't care about when we beat it up. Oh. Well, we can kill a total of one person in our life. It's straight up. Oh. Just one. Take your time. Take some of mine. It's all this fun.
Yeah, team, we're gonna we're going to launch into this battle. You guys, your friend's dying. It's not, it's not a joke. Around, it's like, it's like, there's a lot of them. Hi guys, we're back. We're at twitch.tv slash D&D. We are Maze Arcana. We're in the middle of a battle. Vartak is down. He is surrounded by these. Everyone roll a history. Well, except for him. Roll a history. <laughs> yeah, roll the history <laughs> unconscious person. Ooh. Uh, 12. Why do I keep 15? looking at no bonus? 15. 15. Uh, 15. The two of you, uh, these are the young, you've heard of these stories that see that these young T um, uh, do this thing to um, creatures, like humanoids, that'll turn them. And it looks like uh, these are those types of creatures. So uh, weird kind of effects and transformation thing. Mm -hmm. So, what you see here, um, let's see, Kalife, you, are, you grabbed on to uh, Vartak. I pulled him back five feet, right? Mm -hmm. um, that was what I had left? No, because you couldn't pull him. You didn't roll well enough. Oh. Um, but these creatures have all come back, and they these two are actually three. I'm on top of him, so if they hit anything, it's going to hit me. So they're grabbing at him, and these two are attacking you. <laughs> Wait. Uh, so that it's gonna be good. Maybe we'll go together. <laughs> it's only gonna be two in the cast the rest of the time. Okay, so. I got you, man. You're safe. 
Yeah, you're hilarious. <laughs> you went down, and I totally, I should have given you more damage. I'm sorry, what? <laughs> I'm supposed to give you more damage. It wouldn't matter. He went down. Oh, cool. Rolly thing. Okay. So, that is three points of damage on you. It hit for 20, so you don't have a 20 AC, right? No. Okay. 13. 13. Three points of damage. No. And... Just right on the side of it. Just right on your... It's so bouncy. What's your AC, Kalitha? 13. She's 13. Okay, that is a three damage. Another three? Another three? Yeah. So that was from one guy. The other so she, got hit she got hit twice? Mm-hmm. They hit me from big And damage. then the other guy... She just got good So around. the first guy, he bites at you and then claws and claws and the bite just kind of pulls at you and the claw scratches you. I hate these guys. You do not like these guys. These are not nice guys. Okay. <laughs> so that the second guy. What did they oh, roll? On their, what did they get? They're attacking three times each. So one of them bites at you and takes a really big chunk out of you for, for nine damage. And uh, he claws, the first one missed, but the the second one hits, and it hits you for seven damage. And the other three, while you're distracted, are grabbing uh, Vartak and have moved uh, about. With Vartak? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> God damn it. And um, all of a sudden, Captain, mm -hmm. you I'm are stopped. going to. Oh yes, that's true. Amina, you are going to get. Maybe you're gonna get hit. Maybe you don't get hit. This beam of energy just blast into the wall next to you um, from across the room. Where did that come from? You <laughs> noticed that it came from the direction that you were, That's that you entered. That's what person thingy is. Mm -hmm. yeah. And then. Did they glow at all so we could see what they were when they cast it? Uh, you, let's see, you're, you're kind of, you're covered here. Mm -hmm. So you just see the direction. Okay. Um, oh. So um, as you see this blast hit uh, the wall next to you, another arrow shoots out from the corridor in front of you and, and just hits you, actually hits you in the leg. What? Music? Oh, sorry, it's really loud. So it hits you in the leg. Huh? It's coming from oh, the okay, yeah. Can you hear it now? I can't turn up any louder, dude. It's like super loud in my head. Um, yeah, it's just, there we go. So, back to the arrow that just hit Amina pretty freaking hard. Uh, might be with you guys. Uh, let's see. Whatever Four, nine damage. Hit you right in the leg. You buckle a bit, but you stand strong. Okay. Um, and you hear that chuckle again. Kyle, okay. what are you doing? Um, move up on the two. On oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Bartek. Oh, he's going to make a save? Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. What'd you roll? Okay, he just failed two. I literally rolled the one. <laughs> you failed both of them. You failed the last two of your three death saves and died. You have one more roll. No. No. What? You roll a one, you, you fail two. You roll a one, it's a double fail. Oh no! Oh my god! Oh my god, coach! 
<laughs> we can't save him. He literally oh my god, gone. he just killed Kurt. Dude. I don't know if I can handle this. Poor Bartak died. I just killed Kurt. It's been a pleasure, everybody. Be well. Have fun. Oh my god. I hope that oh my, my I hope these guys don't wipe. <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> this is terrible. Oh my god! Um, and you guys. Oh my god! My heart hurts so bad. I'm gonna cry. Oh yeah! I don't like hey, don't, killing my friends. Don't leave yet. The rest of the party could be joining you. Uh, that's true. That's true. I'll watch that yeah, on the reruns. Okay, hold on. I, I need a moment because that I'm not. I wasn't ready for that. A okay. party wipe would be devastating. Yeah. yeah it would be so. A, a short yeah. show. So. <laughs> Literally a one. Mm. That's freaking hilarious. Okay. You, you so Kalise, well but you don't. You don't know. <laughs> what you see is these. Snake people, they pull him and they're making their way down uh, this hall. Now it's your turn, Kyle. Moving up on the ones on Kalite. Mm -hmm. And uh, those are the ones that got blown against the wall, right? Yeah. Okay. They ran back up and are fighting her. So that was one of the ones I hit before. Uh huh. Okay, so I'm going to go up and move up on the one that I hit before. That one. Mm -hmm. And take another shot at him. Uh huh. <laughs> For uh, 16 to hit. A hit. For 18 points of damage. Okay. Uh, you. Is he still up? You take your rapier and you hit and it goes through his chest and <coughs> blood coughs out of his mouth. Somehow he's still standing. Wow. Um, okay. Uh, then I'm going to uh, action surge. Mm -hmm. Take another shot at him. All right. For 25 to hit. Totally hits. And For another 15 points. You, uh, you poke him right in that, the same hole in his heart, and you just, you pull up, and it just, blood gushes out as he falls to the ground. They don't like you packing up. Well, uh, they don't want to see him go, that's why. Don't then, go on, just stay, stay. Yeah, just stay. And stealth back. And, okay. And uh, I'm, I'm going to stealth, and then I'm going to move the rest of my movement. All right. Um, Roll stealth. Uh, I got a, a 24 again on my stealth. Okay. Where are you going? Um, I'm going to move to the other side of the pillar. Over here? Yeah. Okay. And as, as I'm moving away, I'm going to tell Kalite, I'm going to say, lightning bolt. All right. Cool. Kalite, it's your turn. Confirming that no one's in the range of the bad guys. How close is what the What you see person? is uh, you are right adjacent to this character. And, um, and so these people are over here. You are right here. So this I'm is a big pillar that's in the way. So I'm going to jump back and line them all up. See how they're kind of all in a straight line there? So I'm gonna jump back the other way on the other side, other, further, further, like or whatever lines them up. Pull up so, the uh, if you were right here, are you flying to do that? Otherwise, he has a he I can have swipe a 30 at you. foot action. I mean, a 30 foot move, like just my normal action. Okay. Um, if you move away from that character, it can hit you. Oh, it can mm -hmm. oh, hit, hit me. It gets, it gets one attack at you. Do I have to move? To, I, well, I don't think my lightning bolt can hit me. It's fine. I'll just stay there then. It doesn't matter. So <laughs> if you use your lightning bolt, oh, wait. is it a 5-foot radius or is it a 10-foot radius? It's, it's a, a line. 
It's a six. Yeah, but how wide is it? Oh, it's five foot wide. Uh, okay. It's uh, yeah, five foot wide, a hundred foot long. Uh, no, you know, you know what? Uh, how many do I have lined up? If, if you I stay where I was? if you take a step back, you have two lined up. If you stay where you are, you have one lined up. You know what? Stuff that I got three lined up. If I go right back to on a diagonal, see behind on the other side of the box. Where? On the other side of the die. Like just go over here. No, no, no. The other direction. The dice. Same one. No, other dice. There's a third dice. There is three. There, no, the fourth. Yeah, that one. So okay. I want to go on the other side of that one. You want to go near the wall, where I'm standing? Oh, you're. Is that you? Yeah. That's oh. him. Oh, then no. Yeah. Uh, all right. There, there's your friend. There All right, you. so what were the options? Two, if I So stay. if you, you take can, a step back, you can hit these You can two. step in front of me. I can step in front of you, and then how many do I have in range? Um, there is a dead thing here, and... It's a dead thing. Yeah. But I can step over it. Uh, it's a big dead thing. You could step over it, but um, you'll be distracted. It's, the terrain is a little messed up. It's not. He doesn't seep into the ground. Um, it's just become difficult terrain, so it's ten feet to move where it is. Yeah, it, yeah. Okay. You can do whatever you want. How oh, about that? Yeah. You can do whatever you want, and he'll either hit you or not hit yeah. you. So right now I got two lined up. You have one lined up. One lined up until you move. Well, I have to move so that there are two. If you take a step back. Yeah. You can do that. Yeah. So you're gonna take a step back. I'm taking a step back. Uh, swipes at you and totally misses. So now you're doing your lightning. My lightning bolt. And? It's 100 feet long, 5 feet wide, but I, I can choose to make it shorter, yeah? Yeah. Uh, so I'll just make it as long as it needs to be to hit the guy in the back. All right. So, um, it is a DC saving? 14. Okay. Nice. Oh, yeah. Eight D6s. Okay. So. <laughs> Luckily, I suck. So you s have your lightning bolt. You see Vartac on the oh, ground. And you aim directly for their heads, and you just lightning bolt to their faces. Yeah. And it hits this one and jumps from that one to this other one. And it actually hits the guy behind it as well. What's the damage on it? Uh, 28. You can add three to the guy near you. Oh, plus three on the guy near me, because it's a spell. All uh, right. And... Um, my attack modifier. Oh, no, She's no, got no, it. no, nothing. Nothing. The air that. smells like burned lizard flesh. It's a weird mixture and stink. Uh, and is that your the last of your things that you're going to do? Uh, no, I'll uh, I'll use a. Uh, no. No. Did you quicken that one? Do I have to quicken before I do the spell? Yes. Yeah. Oh well, then no. Okay. <laughs> nothing I can do. <laughs> All right. Amina. I'm still back in that little You are hall, back right? in that hall. There are dead, there's a puddle of dead grung around you. Did those guys stay standing after the lightning bolt? Yeah. Yes. And where Captain is and she is, is there's one still alive or the, did they There's kill one here and there's three back here dragging. You do see Vartak being drug away. Okay. I'm going to get the one that's closest to Kalithe and the captain. I'm gonna run through the two columns. Five, 10, 15, I, 20, 25. You're going right up to him? I, yeah, I wanna come up from behind him. And I'm gonna take oh, my 10, rapier and just 15, try to 20, stab 20, him in the back of the head. You can only move next to him. I can only move next to him, okay. Yeah. Well, I'm pretty like riled up right now, so I'm gonna run You're and just off. stab him in the side of the head with my rapier. Okay. Okay. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, so I, I got two. You go to stab at him, but <laughs> you can't take your eyes off of Vartak. It's really disturbing you. So attack a second time. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Okay, I got ten the second time. Plus? Oh, no. She got a 17. Oh, yeah. So you add this number here. Plus seven. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah, sorry. I just got, I'm, I'm all like... <laughs> it's okay. Uh, uh, I gave her a um, cheat sheet. It's yeah. very exciting. So it's a 17 to hit, and it hits, and the damage is 12, 12 damage. And I so that, um, what does it look like? You just killed this thing. Oh, I killed it? Yeah. 
Well, I feel like I stabbed him kind of low in the skull and it kind of unhinged his jaw and it just plops open and blood just starts running out. And then he falls over and goes Bruck. His big snake jaw. This mm -hmm. guy was mostly snake faced with like a weird human eyeball. <laughs> <laughs> and is down. And I'd like to do my rally cry. To All right. Get some health points around. Mm, you can only do that once. Short JK, rest. I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So these three, they continue. You guys all went. These three continue dragging uh, Vartek out. Uh, no. That sucks so bad. <laughs> Vartek! These guys. So these guys move forward. Um, this tall, really tall, like six foot eight m man in a hood comes out and he's um, he's got this like ornate uh, Port Nyanzaran colored robe on. He's got this satchel around him and he looks at you all and he just shakes his head. He's like, I am so disappointed. Uh, I thought you would be more fun than this. And he, poof, he Is that the guy from the beach? From what? The beach? Sorry, not the beach, uh, from the, the kidnapping. Man, the kidnapping at the, at the coastline. No, not the coastline, there was, um, when they kidnapped River. The, it was next to a boat. Oh, no. Okay. This, there was a clearing and a um, boat, right? Was it a boat there? He I has, it was a boat. Okay. no. Anyway. So no. he has this um, big robe, he's robed, he's got the satchel on, and he speaks in this slow, arrogant manner. And he's got these two creatures that come from uh, his sides, and they're just standing next to him. He says, such a pity. And... He said he went poof. Uh, the three of you roll a wisdom saving throw. Suddenly you're surrounded by these yeah. ornate colors. They're really like you've seen drawings that are this beautiful but what'd you roll 19 natural 20. nice kalithe she got a one <laughs> kalithe is just enamored this is the most beautiful not acid trip you've ever seen in your entire life I like the colors, colors are unfolding and unfolding in front of you and you just can't stop. It's so pretty, it reminds me of home. I wanna go home. Um, these two creatures, uh, they are, actually, it's that size. They're little? Okay, so one looks like uh, these things that have fallen next to you. And the other one looks like a grung, um, and he's uh, got his little loincloth on, and he's uh, bright orange, and he's got this uh, bow and this in on his back and a spear in one. They're just laughing, um, and so they're both grung. One's grung. One is that figured. Okay. Twisted looking. Twisted snake human people. snake thing. And the guy we can't see because he's in his robes and he poofed? Uh, he did not poof. Oh, he's okay. standing there. And he's he's just standing there. Okay. So, Kyle, what do you do? Um, I'm going to pull one of my daggers mm -hmm. and throw it at the guy in the robe. All right. Uh, how close is he from us right now? About 35 feet. Okay. So, let's see. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, since I'm stealthed out, I'm going to move up 15 feet. Okay. And get him within 15 feet range, basically. There you go. Now you can see him. And uh, throw the dagger at it. Okay. For a 22 to hit. Totally hits. For 18 points of damage. Okay. Uh, 
he does not like that. And then I stealth again. Okay. Stealth? Stealth is 24. No. Yeah, 24. Nice. So you throw the dagger, it lands, it kind of gets absorbed into his, his cloth, and you, you see him double back a little bit, and he kind of just stands his ground. It's one of my daggers gone. He's And Kalithe, it is your turn. I'm a little afraid because oh, I'm not be sure if these guys can, if lightning would affect a guy like him. Do what you're gonna do. I just, I'm gonna, I wanna do another lightning bolt, man. Can you? Yeah, I can do, do three, it. it's a third level spell. Do I'm it. gonna Roll smash it. it at them. How many of them are in line with me, though? All of them. All of them. <laughs> yeah. So right now you can. Well, you can hit one, two, three. Where's the big scary bad? Really bad. Right in the middle. So Good. this guy right here. And can then you those see two that? at the back. Yeah. And the one right up in front of her. And the right one right in front of me. Uh, that's Amina. Oh, is that Amina? <laughs> yeah. Well, that's bad. Mm -hmm. It'll hit your ally. So I will. I you will can move. Move yeah. over or around Amina, Amina, whatever okay. needs to happen. And then um, go back to the same place. Awesome. And, uh, I have four, four, eight D6s. Yeah. Oh, plus, plus one D6 per spell level, so because of the third level. No, no, no. Okay. <laughs> awesome. What's the damage? Uh, 12. 12 plus. Oh. Uh, 14, so 26. 14, 12 plus 14, so 26. Nice. Uh, <laughs> the, the lightning just, it, you do this, and it arcs right from you directly into that guy and jumps to the two disfigured uh, creatures behind it. Um, dun -dun. Those two creatures saying, Those have been taking scream. a lot of damage. <laughs> they scream and and fall down just smoking. But I'm aiming for their big bad guy. It hit him. It hit him. It hit. Okay. Yes. Okay. Um, now there's one left back there. Uh, as your bonus action, and you can these fly two. Uh, I'm going to fly 10 feet uh, just, just away. Where? Which way would you like to go? Same uh, way. To the right of Amina. Right here? No, 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 that's, no, that's, that's Amina. Amina. Oh. <laughs> to the right of this person. Right here. Yes. Okay. Yeah. All right. Is that your final action? That's all I can do. Okay. <laughs> okay. I want to move up to the column that's the closest to them and hide behind it. Mm, this one? Yeah. And oh. I want to take... Uh, so you're trying to take cover? Well, I want to throw something, I think, but I don't know if I want to just run. And There's one of the ugly dudes left around him, right? There are one ugly, there's two ugly dudes, a new ugly dude, an old ugly dude, <laughs> and in a little orange frog. Wrap your head around that. <laughs> Which one's the closest to me? The new ugly dude. New ugly dude? Mm-hmm. Make your decision. Three. I'm going to throw three. a hand axe. Awesome. Uh, eight? No, you got Plus? Oh, but did I Plus hit? This oh. Oh, yeah, but like I, my D20 was eight. Uh huh. She got a 14 to hit. Awesome. And it hits. Oh, I haven't hit anyone with my hand axe yep. yet. What's the damage? Oh, yeah. Four points. Five. <laughs> no, four. Points. No, four, oh. four. Oh, yeah, because it's different. That <laughs> okay. One. Four, four points of damage. You, th you step aside, you lean out from the pillar, <laughs> you throw it. It lands in its side, and then you just duck behind the pillar and hope for the best. <laughs> um, okay, so you guys went. Mm -hmm. This guy uh, hisses very loudly, has this weird, uh, he's saying something in a different language, you don't know what it is, uh, and he grabs Vartak with this guy, and they run. Good. Are they and, in full movement? Wow. And they run. And 
that little orange guy. He goes. He stands right there and goes. And um, all three, uh, the two of you ladies, roll a wisdom saving throw. Seventeen. Six. You can't move. You're kind of stuck and you're stunned. Um, so is that? Stunned, stunned, or held? Stunned. stunned. Mm. Five, ten, fifteen. Um, He's going to stay there. And this guy runs up because um, you threw that axe at him, and now he is going to attack you. <laughs> Just wait for it. Okay. Oh my goodness. All right. So it bites at you and tears at your arm. It claws at you and scrapes your chest and claws and it smacks you, almost spins you around for five, six, seven, 16 damage. And he just, you are like big gashes in you. And Kyle. Um. Since those dead guys are in the way, uh, I'm going to use acrobatics to get past them. Mm-hmm. Two. Uh, the short little guy. Okay. Uh, uh, where would you like to be? Next to Amina or next yeah, right, to? No, right to, next to Amina. Okay. No, sorry, uh, next to Khalifa. Okay. Um, and so that was uh, 25 on the acrobatics track. All right. Um, run up to him, which was, what, 10 feet? Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, give him a stab in the head. All right. For uh, 19 to hit. Totally hits. For 23 points of damage. All right. You take a big chunk of his face off. Okay. Um, and continue my movement past him. Mm-hmm. And run to keep moving towards the door. So you, yeah, okay. And uh, that's one full move. Mm-hmm. And then um, going to take a uh, dash action mm -hmm. and go into the hallway after the guy's taking Bartek. You're almost at the end of the hallway. Are they still within sight? The secret door is closed in front of you. Can I see them? It's closed. They're not there. OK. Um, then that's all I can do. That's both my, my attack, my move, and my bonus. OK. Is anyone left standing in the room? Bad guys? So right in front of you is this little orange Oh, you didn't get the, I thought that was who grung. you were stabbing in the head. He did. I did. Oh. I ran oh. by and went. Yeah. And, and Amina is standing next to a uh, a big creature. Okay, all right. So I'll use two magic missiles. Um, as, uh, so it'll be a second level okay. spell. So that's two d12. Hit him. Uh, oh, five on one. Okay. And um, wait, two d4. I, I, there, there, this kid's near me, well, right? So I can. Oh, it's you're using a d4. Uh, magic missiles of. Second level oh, spell, no, right? magic missile. I meant witch bolt. Witch bolt. Okay. Ah, Sorry. okay. So it makes a little more sense. <laughs> I was like, yeah, hmm. my bad. Uh, two witch bolts. Uh, so. Wait, uh, are you rolling a d20 or a d12? D12. Did you read 20 to hit. You got to roll to hit. Yeah. My bad. Ah. Uh, Where did you roll? She had a 19 until it hit the wall, and then she got a 1. <sighs> What's the damage? Is it d12? 2d12. Roll 1d12. It was. Well, roll 1d12. Roll one the one I rolled was a five. This this one now is a three. So you just hit yourself. 
<laughs> you go to you go to shoot it, it backfires and burns your hand for three damage. You just gave yourself three damage. This fight is tough, huh? <laughs> uh, rare, but you know. So I only used one because I was using. No, you used second level spell slot. Yeah, I used a second level spell slot, but you still have to roll. Yeah. I mean, I could, you, you <laughs> want to do the full damage on yourself. You no, can. no, no, I just want to make sure we're all above. I want you guys to. Amina, you're sweating over here. I can see it in your face. Uh, How are you feeling? I don't like it. <laughs> you feel like you've been hit a little bit? A little bit. I'm okay. uh, a little squishy and stinky, and I don't know which blood's mine, really. There are things that you can do, and I'm going to say this to you also because you were brand new. Um, there are things that you can do right now that will give you more hit points. You have a healing potion. You have um, a second wind. Will that not do it? She already used that. That was a yeah. cry. Oh, man. She used that. Try to heal Bartek and he fell down. Ah, oh, balls. You have a healing potion, but that's it. Um, that's an action that you can take during your thing. But then that's your action. Mm -hmm. You can take you can a move action, move uh, kind of but also you're right adjacent to a bad guy who would also take a swing on you. Right. And yeah, so if I take the healing it's all a gamble, I, and I, I roll bad It's all a gamble. I'm going to take the healing potion. All right. She takes the healing potion. Whips it out. This guy is right on you. You take the healing potion. And um, how much? How, did I tell you how much you guys get for the healing? No, you didn't tell us. It's what a kind basic of healing were. potion. It's basic. Yeah, it's like uh, a D six. Two D four plus two. Or mm -hmm. that. What? Which one then? Roll two uh, D four plus two. We'll tell you in a sec. Keep going. Just gonna roll two D four. Really? Yeah. Oh, I wasn't confused. I can't remember. So roll it again. So that's four, plus you have six. You healed yourself for six, and you're standing there, and that thing is breathing on you with the worst breath ever, and it's got this, like, mutated thing growth on its neck. It's a bit bigger than the rest of them. Right. Um, but you healed yourself for six. Yeah. Um, would you like, is there anything else that you'd like to do? Can I, I, I can't attack him though, can I? No. No. Um, you can I move. Can move? She can. If she uses an action surge, to you take can another use an action, action surge, and then she gets two attacks on it. There you go. If you would like to do that, let's do it. All right. So, like I did, said before, roll the d20s and the damage at the same time. Oh, I only need. No. I'm just one dude, right? All of them. Oh. All of them, because those are your damage dice. Attack them twice. Yeah. Oh yeah, I'm talking twice. So add. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that's a 10 and a 14. The 14 will hit, and so that's, uh, two, so that's six damage on it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Great. Okay. So. <laughs> okay. So. Hey, right, Bartak, you got dragged away too quickly. The, <laughs> the grung. Turning him into a zombie. Jumps at you. I don't, we don't. At me? Mm hmm. I don't know, he's dead, so. Uh. And he goes to grab at your skin. He's slapping at you. Um, and he can't quite jump up to touch you. You're going <laughs> like this. <laughs> and he's just like. <laughs> She's got all that wind and lightning. Yeah. And Amina. <laughs> At least there were low enough numbers I could count. How many <laughs> hit points do you have right now? This guy. He, he looks like he might be able to hit her pretty good. He Hi. bites at you and claws at you. Uh, with your AC? You have a high AC, right? 16, yeah. Okay, so... He bites at you, takes another chunk out of your arm for six damage. The claws, you're, you're doing this matrix thing because you do not want to get hit anymore. Okay, so that was them. Kyle. Well, I gotta go back into the fight. Okay. 
5, 10, 15, 20. Head towards the ground. 25, 30. <coughs> uh, bonus action moved up on the ground. You are now next to Amina and the ground. For uh, 19 to hit. Okay, hit. For 24 points. What does it look like? Um, I come rushing back in after not being able to find Vartek and save him and run up and see this Grung trying to harass poor Kalithe. And as he jumps up and misses, I slip up behind him and he he lands and I spin him around with my left hand as I shove the blade through his throat. Gross. And he goes down. Okay. Kalithe, unless there's, you want to do something else. There's just one bad guy left, yes? And he's tearing, uh, he's tearing Amina apart. So uh, I think the safest thing is just to hit him with a witch bolt, a, a single... Uh, has he been hit many times? Make your decision. Uh, Three, I'll two, hit him with a one, one witch bolt. All right. Uh, all right. Uh, Thirteen plus six. Totally hits. Um, What's the damage? And it is a d12, eleven. Okay. So you hit him with this bolt, and it just sears through his scales on his arm, and it burns, and you you can smell it from as far away as you are. And that's all. Is that it? Oh, uh, I, I forgot to click in my witch bolt. <laughs> okay. So, uh, can I, can I grab her? I, I can jump over and pull her away from him a little, yeah? He will uh, try to hit her. Oh, Can't. that's a grapple. Yeah. Hmm? Yeah, that's an action. That's an action. Oh, okay. So, that's all? That's all. Amina? Uh, is, can I disengage? Yeah, that's an action. It is? Mm-hmm. Um, so you can run away if that's what you'd like. <laughs> Nobody will touch you. <laughs> Three. Um, two. Yeah, I'm going to disengage just All for right. a second. How far do you want to go? Just around the column to take a break for one second. <laughs> about right here? Right here? Yeah, that's fine. Okay. You're hiding behind the column. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So. It's turn. It's his turn now. Uh, he runs up him? here and he yeah. tries to bite at you from around the corner and claw at you. Maybe I should have ran farther. <laughs> should have ran high knee. <coughs> no, I, don't. <laughs> I don't like that look. That's a lot of bad looks. I don't want to look at that look. I love I'll you. Drive you home. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I rolled a 20. It's like the crit. first time. You got a yeah. Crit on her. Deal. <laughs> eight. Hold on, Rudy. Uh, eight. Seven. Four. Five. Six. Four. Wait, just use it. 31. 30 points. Oh, well, bye. <laughs> How many hit points do you have? 30. I have 30 left. Uh, how many do you have altogether? Oh, 64. Okay. All right. Amina goes down. <laughs> we just all die today. <laughs> all right. Top of the air. Okay. Um, I'll attack him. Okay. So move me up to him. I'm dead, right? No, I'm not dead. tree devastating for oh, Well, and yeah, that's going to go well. I'm going to give you a healing potion right now. Does that work? Uh, It'll help. How long, guys? 22 to hit. Totally hits. For 15 points of damage. Okay. You hit him, and ah, it lets out this wail, but he doesn't go down. Okay. All right. Anything else? Uh, no. Kalithe, what are you doing? 
I'm going to go to Amina and give her a healing potion. All right. Give her that healing potion. So um, roll. So what was it? Two, what do we say? It was 2d4 two two plus 2. 2d4 two plus 2. Okay, so uh, Do I you. Do add anything to that? <laughs> Plus two. Plus two, I guess. So four and a three. Okay, so now you have what? I'm sorry, three, four? Uh, with the plus two, it's a four and a three. Four and a three? Yeah, because I. It's 2d4 plus two. Uh, plus two for each dice? Just, Just plus in two total. 2d4 plus two. So roll 2d4 and add two to the what you roll. Uh, I did a three and a one. She got six points. All right, six points. Um, and you're still lying there going, oh. Okay, so you're awake. Is there anything else you would like to do? I anything you can do? do I, I, can I, I can pull her back. No. <sighs> okay. My turn? Amina, you are yeah. on the ground. You've got this big monster. The monster is next to you. Your favorite captain on the planet is right next to you. And you're just, you're not feeling good. Can I move or am I stuck on the ground? Uh, you can crawl. And he will try to attack you if you I'm going to attempt to crawl behind okay. my captain. Um, he, you are still, you're going to move here? Behind him, wherever that is. I can't tell which one. All right. She can't stand? She said, I, she said I can only crawl. You can crawl. You can stand. You can crawl. Yeah. You can stand. Oh, yeah, I would stand. I thought I, thought <laughs> I could only crawl. Okay. So that takes half your movement to yeah. stand. Um, so what he's going to do is he's going to... Then what else can I do? <laughs> it's 20s, man. Thanks. Thanks, Wormwood. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's canted. Whoa, okay. Stop jumping. All right, that's eight. <laughs> that's ten damage. Oh, jeepers. On who? <laughs> On Amina, as she gets up to go. Oh, is, he gets a full attack, not just a single? Wow. I rolled a 20. Oh, he, he got one yeah. attack, but he got a 20. Yeah. So you get it up, so and then you fall you down. Get and you fall down, uh, and <laughs> okay. Two back down, so, zero hit points at the same spot. Negative hit points, really. Yeah. Um, it stops at zero, but. So you're down, and it is. His turn. It's time to go. So <laughs> we're gonna stop right there. It's his turn to attack. <laughs> uh, yeah. It's Would you like me to roll this now, Kyle? Sure. So many dice. Because <laughs> they're OP. Uh, well, you know. If somebody had strategy to their stuff, it's not that hard. <sighs> we did, it just wasn't a good one. I can't, I can't even. I don't know how. Uh, <laughs> You're killing me, guys. I really Wait, no, should I'm have hit him with a couple of weapons. <laughs> Why are there so many of them? Okay, well, um, the claw. So he goes to bite at you, and he right past your head. He goes to claw at you, just barely grazes your chest. And as you think you're being cocky, he swipes up and hits your arm for eight points of damage. Okay. He missed me once, so I'm going to use my repost and okay. attack him back. Ah, ah yeah, sneaky Kyle. Okay. For uh, 21 to hit. Okay. Or twenty-four points of damage? No. Uh, Thirty-two points of damage. You were so mad that he took down your Amina. Why don't you tell us how you feel about it? So mad that he hits him, that he hit Amina and knocked her down after she just gotten healed. 
I grab him by the back of the head and just shove my rapier up through his skull. That's pretty mad. That's really mad. That's really super mad. Really, really mad. I think he has a crush on you. <laughs> <laughs> um, you do that, and he just falls to the ground. Um, we are going to stop right there. We're stopping right there. Okay. I want to take a moment to thank Kurt for playing Bartek. <laughs> Hold on. That's bad. I love you, Kurt. You're my second kill. Oh. I love you right here in my heart, Stuffs, and I'm sorry that your, your peers could not pull it together to do the right thing, because I blame them and not me. I blame the for one. <laughs> I blame the die. My turn was next. I could have saved him. But I love you, and... I want to everybody thank Kurt. Oh, oh. <laughs> this is so sad. Bye, Kurt. I love you, Kurt. Bye, everyone. No. I'm sorry. <laughs> Don't be mad at me, okay? <laughs> yeah, Growl at TV, you must go home. No. Yeah. I'm going to cry. Bye. Bye, Kurt. So, yeah, I think it's, gonna, it's time to go. And I'm going to say uh, thank you guys for coming. Thank you guys for watching uh, us here on twitch.tv. Did he just walk out? I'm so sad. No. Oh, my God. No. I can't believe I killed Kurt. Um, thank you, Black Magic, Flow Light, Wormwood. Um, I'm, I'm pretty wrecked right now. I got to go. But I want to thank you guys, and we'll see you next week. Okay. Okay, Rudy. Bye, guys. Bye.